The Sunday Telegraph in this kicking off in this section, apparently having millions of people coming into the country who don't bring a house with them is fueling a housing crisis. Mm. Who better to discuss this than someone forced to live in a boat, Cresta? <laughs> I wasn't forced to live. Anyway, uh, <laughs> record migration fueling Britain's rental crisis warns Zoopla chief. And that's the amazing thing. Why is he talking about this? I, I don't know. Because they're famous. in the business of housing, so they, yeah, they know the I figures. Yeah, but I thought this was something you didn't say out loud unless you were hanging out with Leo things, or something. Things are changing. Um, oh, yeah, well, God. maybe that's it. Maybe they are. So um, this comes uh, after figures published by the ONS, the Office for National T Statistics, last week showed that net migration reached a record of 745,000 people uh, in 2022. But that's just net migration. The gross figure was nearly 1.3 million people entering the UK, which exactly. is insane. It's a lot of people. Um, and Mr Donald, this guy's pointing out that when people turn up, they tend to rent. That's the first of thing course. they do. They, mm. they rarely come and just buy their own house. Um, so, yeah, it, the rental market is just getting squeezed. Apparently, there's only 5.5 million private rentals in this country, which doesn't sound a lot. And it's been stuck at that number for seven years. So, yeah, yeah we, there's students coming in. They're not building student accommodation. And this so the students are then moving into the private rental market exactly. because there's not enough student accommodation. And also the government, Nicholas, keeps introducing taxes uh, on landlords. So there's less incentive for private landlords to enter the market. Yeah, they kind of declared war on, on buy to let and yeah. on landlords. But a few years ago, Nigel Farage was late for a TV interview and he said that uh, there was too much traffic because of immigrants. And everybody laughed at him for having the audacity to suggest that more people on the roads, <laughs> you know, leads to traffic. But I think we should have a balanced, you know, view. Ultimately, a lot of immigrants means, yes, there's more pressure on the healthcare system, on school places, on the housing and on wages, especially uh, lower skilled uh, workers. But on the other side, we also have more Hamas supporters and risk of street riots, <laughs> uh, race riots and terrorism. So Nicholas. let's keep that in mind as well. What about rich culture? <laughs> Well, uh, you know, feeling rich. Uh, people in Dublin might have a different opinion nowadays. But. Yeah, we've got, we've got the internet. We can get the recipes off that. So, but no, I mean, I, I see your point. But then, uh, you know, I've, I've worked alongside, uh, I've worked alongside Polish and Ukrainian uh, builders and labourers who are who are building the houses we need. I mean, I think I think part of it is immigration, and part of it is just we've we've got uh, everything is taxed so heavily in this country that there's no incentive for people to get out there and build something. Because if you build something and sell it or rent it out, the government's just going to come along and yoink, grab all your money. Yeah, I mean, housing, housing is a problem. Also, we have a big debate in this country where to build the green belt, the brown belt. People yeah. who have new bills don't want other new bills because that would obstruct the nice landscape. So yeah, that, that too. <laughs> yeah, we've got some things to sort out.